Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, Callan and I, where are we going? Grocery shopping. We're gonna run into Aldi. I, it is Thursday. I haven't done a big grocery order this week, but we need a few more things to last us until I can do a bigger order on like Monday. So we're gonna go in here. It's been a while since I've been here. Um, and we're gonna go in here and see what they have. Maybe if they have anything new and look through all the aisles as much as as much as I can. Um, we're gonna get some snack things, maybe a couple dinner things to last us, lunch things, make sure the kids are good for lunches, and like maybe some like you get at Aldi's, yeah, like some um frozen things. I don't know. We're just gonna kind of see what they have and just gives a few things to last us for the rest of the week. So I thought I'd bring y'all along for that. And if y'all haven't been to Aldi in a while either, let's see what maybe like new stuff they have or what they have out right now. So we're going to head in here and see what they've got. Are you ready? Hey, are you going to sit in the shopping cart and be a good boy? Give me thumbs up for being a good boy. Yay, two thumbs up. Yay. <laughs> so let's head in here. I hope I have a quarter. I am like so bad about trying to come here and I can't find a quarter anywhere. So let's see, I'm trying to dig through my purse. Yay for a quarter, I found one. All right, let's head in there. I really love the selection breads and different bakery things Aldi has. Oh, I say bakery things. My kids really like these chocolate croissants. And then I also saw they had this like chocolate brioche bread that looked really good. And then I just love like they have a good selection of like, of course I follow Weight Watchers. So I love that they have like 40 calorie bread. And then they had those like, I think they were like the Dave's Killer Bread, like their brand of it. Um, I've never tried that, but I've also never seen this at Aldi. Like I said, though, it's been a while, but I did not know they had their own brand of iced coffee. So if y'all tried that, let me know because I'm curious how good it is. I had no idea they had that. So let me know how it is if you've tried it. And then um, we just kind of started browsing through the aisles that they have like miscellaneous things and Cal saw these cookies and he was like, those are green. I need those. So we picked up a thing of those. And then they had these um, oatmeals that I thought looked really good. I'm not a big oatmeal fan, of course. I'd love to try some overnight oatmeals, overnight oats, if y'all have any suggestions. If you've got any suggestions, let me know. Put it in the comments, like, or message me, like, do you have a recipe? Send me a recipe. But these are just some other things that I saw that were inter interesting. Shamrock Frappe Mix. Um, does Starbucks have one of those? Does Starbucks make, like, a green frappe i think mcdonald's has something similar to that or some kind of maybe like a shamrock milkshake or something that i'm thinking of um but i love going down these aisles at aldi they had so many good things i felt like i wasn't able to kind of just show off everything but they had several different um lots of just different kitchen things and these headbands were all these uh hair things were 2.99 each which were such a good price i'll show you in a few minutes i actually did a little trial and i actually got both of these colors and then i really liked this wreath i know i had told y'all i'm looking for a little wreath to go on my like blanket ladder i didn't know how the purple purple would look so i didn't grab it um, but they were like eight dollars 8.99 but i knew my kids would love these stuffed pancakes and i got they came home from school today and they were so excited to try those for breakfast tomorrow so see how they like those and then i saw these ice creams as well they looked pretty good a couple different options We are home. I'm gonna show you all the things we got. I got some, a couple like cute things from there. I'm so excited to try them. Um, two of them are these headbands. I've been wanting to buy some more headbands because I have like a few that I'll wear every so often, but I loved, especially this one. I think this is gonna go with like everything. It's like, eh, it's a little bit different than my top. Uh, and I don't have a pink one either. So let, I'm gonna try these on. I'm gonna grab my scissors and let's try them on. Cal is about here eating some peanuts. Are they good? I don't have any You don't have any more peanuts? Let's try no. this cute headband on. These were $2.99, okay. I'm, I'm gonna have to fix my hair, like tease it a little bit with the headband. They're cute though. Let's uh, try the other color on. $2.99, I was like, you can't beat that. Walmart has really good prices on their headbands. They, I haven't checked in a while, but they usually don't have a ton to choose from. But like, they're still not $2.99. They're like five or six dollars there. I really like this one a lot. They are so cute. I would definitely go to Aldi and grab these because $2.99. They had a few more other little hair things. I don't know if I got to show them a lot. Um, I 
they had a few more. They had like some um, claw clips and a few other little things, but this is so cute. I'm gonna leave this in because I think it's so cute. All right, and then I'm gonna go try this on and I'll, I'll share at the end of the video because I'm gonna like get everything done first. You do have silverware. <laughs> But I got this and it was $8.99, I believe. I'm gonna double check, but I think it was $8.99. And they're little pajamas, loungewear pajamas. Um, I got a size large, so I'm gonna try it on because for $8.99, it is really, really soft. That way I can tell y'all how the fit is, so y'all can go grab you one if I think it's good. So I, towards the end, I'll try it on after I get my stuff done, put everything up. Um, so those are the little things I got for myself. They had lots of other cute, like kitchen things there. Um, but other than that, I grabbed, I didn't get a ton, so I'm going to do it this way. I grabbed some 45, 40 calorie bread, the wheat bread. Um, I grabbed some of that because I've actually got some eggs boiling that way. Which way? That way. <laughs> it's hard to kind of tell. I've got some eggs boiling. I've been doing hard boiled eggs with some everything bagel seasoning on them for breakfast. And then sometimes I'll have a couple pieces of toast with it. That's what I've been doing this week. French toast sticks because I always got to have those for this boy right here. Those are his favorite. Also, I don't think I've ever grabbed the confetti um, little Debbie, their brand of like little Debbie things. I don't think I've, I'm going to see what the kids think of those. And the great thing about the Audi stuff is they're always die free, their brand stuff. Grab honey buns from there as well. Yogurts because we go through these yogurt tubes so fast. I grabbed these because I think Ren and possibly Delaney would really like these for breakfast and they were like $1.49. So whatever they're having for breakfast, I got those if we wanted to like heat them up in the air fryer or something in the morning. And then I am so excited because every, the past several times I've been to Aldi, they have not, mine has not had these. And I got two of them because I think the girls are gonna eat these. I think the kids will eat these as well. So I grabbed two of them. We're gonna do these, do these for dinner one day over the next few days. Tonight I'm gonna put a crock pot meal in. So stay tuned for that. I am very excited for that crock. This crock pot meal looks really good. But we're gonna do these probably like tomorrow night for dinner or over the next few days. I if y'all have never tried this Hawaiian style chicken, you literally put it in the microwave and heat it up, and it is so so good um the flavor is just so good so and it's pretty good in weight watcher points i don't remember what it is off the back of my hand but got these to stick in the pantry for lunch boxes also got the kids some ice cream and ethan got some cookies and cream ice cream the um leprechaun ones look cool i just don't know if my kids are gonna eat them the mint i think delaney would but i think she'd be the only one um i got some of these cheese dip crackers turn it on this way oh i think my water's boiling let me set my timer i'm boiling my eggs for the next like couple days i need to buy the already boiled eggs because i hate boiling eggs and then peeling them because they never come out right even though i do like that i put them in cold water for a few minutes afterward or like ice water i hate doing it i hate peeling the eggs after i boil them so i need to buy the already boiled eggs because i have been loving that this week okay i got two things of pop tarts just to keep in our pantry because it's always just an easy thing to have. We don't eat these a lot around here, but um, I like to have them on hand, and they're so cheap there. Um, I also got some applesauce that half of them came out. So I got some applesauce pouches. I can't tell. Oh, yeah. So I think some of them's busted, or one of them has busted. I'm going to have to go through and see how many. All right, one more Aldi bag, and then I went to another store and grabbed a few things as well. I got two things of strawberries. They were a pretty good price. I think $1.99. Um, I got some black beans for our dinner tonight. I probably had some of these in my pantry, but I didn't check, so I grabbed some. Um, Cal picked these out. He loved that they were green, so he ended up eating one of those in the store. Uh, okay, these were so cool because my kids love um, Nutella waffles in the mornings, like a waffle, frozen waffle, put a little bit of Nutella on it. And these mini stuffed pancakes, I'm gonna see what they think about these because they'd be just really easy to do. And so we're gonna see. I think these are gonna be really good and I think that they'll really like those. And then we've got, I love that they always have chopsticks because my Walmart, I usually go in there, but they've been out of the jalapeno ones and those are my like top favorite ones. So I grabbed a couple chopsticks from there. And that's it, that's what I got from Aldi. And then, oh yeah, I did get some eggs because I've already opened those and, and boiling those. But for my other store, I also got some milk. 
it's sitting over here too. But from the other store, they had my, I got two of these because they had my Fairlife milk on sale for, I think it was $3.58, which is a pretty good price. Y'all, I'm really, really liking this headband. Um, so I got two of those and then I got um, some cheese dip. Uh, for our dinner tonight, I don't know how good the kids are going to eat it. So I've got some chips and cheese to kind of go with it. It's kind of like it's a good side to go with it. So I grabbed that. Also from Aldi, I did get these dry roasted, honey roasted peanuts. Cal's eating those. I'm leaving out half my Aldi stuff. I also got these from Aldi. I spent like 90 something dollars. I wouldn't have spent that much if it wasn't for the few things I got for myself. From the other store, I also got some tortilla chips and some cheese, bananas. I was gonna get these all day and I just forgot about them. Um, I grabbed my favorite ice cream bars. This was their last one. I was gonna get a couple of them because I, there's only four in a box, but they only had one more left. So hopefully they'll restock those in the next few days. These are gonna go with a di our crock pot dinner tonight. These mission extra thin yellow corn tortillas. These are really good. And then I got two things of enchilada sauce. And that's all I got from Aldi and the other grocery store we stopped at. All right, I'm gonna attempt to crack my eggs. Hope they come out, hope they come out looking good. Um, let's see, I think I'm already messing them up. I think I'm just in such a hurry with them that I don't take my time and that's why they don't come out looking like good. But I have been loving this this week. I feel like I eat eggs all sorts of ways, but I never eat hard boiled eggs for some reason. But this week that just sounded so good, hard boiled eggs. So I've been doing that. Yep, I'm already messing it up. With a little bit of everything bagel seasoning on it. And it is so good. I think I'm gonna make some of that, some of this 40 calorie toast to go with it as well. This one don't look so bad. It's not perfect, but it's not, it's not too bad. So I think as long as I take my time, I'll be fine. So I'm gonna eat my breakfast. We're gonna put something in the crock pot and I'm gonna go try that lounge pajama set on and see what I think. I'm not going to show it on camera because I just don't want to show all that. <laughs> but um, just kind of see what I think about it and give y'all my opinion for $8.99. Hopefully it's good. Because I, I need some pajamas. I honestly need some new pajamas. So I'm always wearing like Ethan's like t-shirts and <laughs> something like that to bed. But Okay, so this one's looking pretty good. Okay, that one's like pretty perfect. How I boil the eggs, and they come out so perfectly every time in the middle. <laughs> I put them in a pot, I put it on high, I wait till it starts boiling, and then I set the timer for nine minutes, and I cut the heat down, and it boils for like nine minutes, and they're so perfect. Yeah, Ready? Yeah. We gotta be super careful. I don't want a ton of it, okay? Okay, a little more on these. Perfect, that's great. All right, and then two pieces of toast. I'm gonna spray with some spray butter. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of cinnamon sugar. I always say this brings me back to my childhood. This is what I used to always request as a kid is cinnamon sugar toast. I loved it. And so it kind of brings me back. So this is what I've been eating for breakfast and it is so good, especially with this everything bagel season. I don't think I could, I mean, I could eat them without it, but it just makes the eggs so much better. All right, coming back on to share my pajamas. I just tried them on. You wanna play with Play-Doh? Sure, I'll go get them. They are great. For $8.99, they're really comfy. They don't, I feel like they fit pretty true to size. I got a size large and I definitely wouldn't want to go any smaller than that. I, will, I like pajamas to be loose and I feel like these are that way. They're super soft. The color's so pretty. So go to Aldi. Yeah, go to Aldi and grab those because they are really good for $8.99 and they're super cute too. Let's make some easy crock pot enchilada casserole. This actually turned out really good. And if you're on Weight Watchers, it's very point friendly. So to a crock pot, you're gonna add one and a half pounds of boneless, skinless chicken breast. And then you're also gonna add two cans of enchilada sauce. I'll leave the recipe below because she made her own enchilada sauce. And I think it would actually be zero points if you're following Weight Watchers and if you're interested in that. I just wanted the easy option, so I just got canned. So at about, I cooked about five hours on low and then I shredded that. And then I put the lid back on it after it was shredded up. And then I took eight Mission Yellow Corn Extra Thin Tortillas and I cut those up into small pieces. And then I added those 
um, to the casserole. I, it, they, these are actually really good in it. If y'all never tried these, um, I love to air fry these and make like chips and like dip them like chips and salsa. They're so good. And then I added a can of black beans that I had drained. I added all of those corn tortillas. I added a half a cup of these Velveeta shreds and I gave all that a good stir. And then to the top of about three fourths of it, I topped it with some cheese. I didn't want the cheese on mine because I want it to be a little more point friendly. And so I decided to leave the cheese off of a portion of it for mine. After I added those last few ingredients, I let it cook on high. I, went, I let mine cook about 40 minutes on high and then it turned to low and then I plated it up. For, so for my portion, I ended up, if you're following Weight Watchers like I am, if you're new here, I follow Weight, the Weight Watchers program. I like to make things that are point friendly and things that some things that like my family will eat as well. And so my portion, I put it in the app. It was five points. I decided to top mine with some cheese dip and it was so good like this. So I added a couple points worth of cheese dip on top and then some non-fat Greek yogurt and it was so good. So I'll leave the recipe below, but I hope you guys enjoyed coming along for my day and shopping at Aldi and I'll see you guys soon for another video. Bye.